What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be more like on the serious side. Um, I know I am one that I honestly troll a lot. Um, we'll, we'll get into that but <clears throat> as you guys read from the title I'm pretty much going to be talking about me being oh shit I can't even get comfortable I'm trying to like find the right spot to get comfortable but yeah I'm gonna be pretty much like talking about how I am currently going to be not even currently how I just been mentally and how I've been like moving on and stuff so yeah I think it's first off it's no secret that you know Gabriel who was my previous boyfriend he passed away I think by now majority of you guys know that and like you have seen me grow and like talk about all that um i am at a point in my life and in my grieving stage where i think that it is time to move on And I don't mean that as in like I'm getting a new boyfriend or I'm like, you know, looking for one. Um, I mean that as in I think it's time to accept that me and him are no longer dating, you know? I mean, he passed away. It's not like we ever broke up, but this is me officially saying like, I don't even know how to explain it. Like, not saying we, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I just am going to refer to him as my previous boyfriend now. Um, I'm going to it's so hard to say because it's like, I know what I'm trying to say, but I can't physically say it. But I think it's time that I move on and I'm single now and <sighs> oh. I just heard saying it out loud, you know, oh. but I'm single now and I'm going to continue my life and I'm going to just refer to Gabriel as my previous boyfriend, not my boyfriend anymore. Um, it's almost going on two years this year in November on the 10th. It's going to be two years since he passed away. I think it's only out of respect and fair to him that I make this video because clearly i have been filming with other people and i've been you know making videos and making content like my crush or doing tiktoks with other guys and stuff those are just me trolling in a way but out of respect i'm going to do this video and let you guys know because i mean i know in my head but i know a lot of people have been seeing videos and they're like wow they assume like i'm dating again or i'm this i'm that when it's not this is all entertainment and for entertainment purposes, trust me, you guys are going to see way more videos with different people and it's the same, my crush, my this, my that. It's all pure entertainment because I'm an entertainer at the end of the day and that's my job to entertain. No one will ever take Gable's spot and I know that very well because I'm not 100% healed and I still do look for him in a lot of people and I'm still very lonely and I'm still very vulnerable and I still seek attention in ways that I should not seek them but I take full accountability for my actions and how I deal with my grief and what I do and that's all that matters and no one's opinion or no one's judgment matters because they're not me at the end of the day and at the end of the day I'm the one who deals with it I'm the one who still cries at night every night I'm the one who still misses him every day I'm the one who still has to live and walk in my shoes every day so I do what is best for me whether it's not agreeable to someone who's lost a parent lost a dad lost a sibling we don't grieve the same everyone grieves differently so 
how I choose to grieve is how I choose to grieve and no one or nothing is going to tell me otherwise or try to bring me down because at this point there's no words that can hurt me the the way that I hurt every day for somebody who's no longer here anymore and that is enough said because that is the truth I am numb to a lot of things and that's one of them is getting hated on getting constructive criticism all that that doesn't bother me at all anymore because I have a deeper rooted pain that I have to deal with every day and have to suffer with every day. So those little things that used to bother me, they don't even face me anymore. But I thought it would be a good idea to sit down before I let a lot of these videos start going public. Um, but I am single now. <laughs> I am moving on. And I am gonna refer to Gabriel either as Gabriel or my previous boyfriend because out of respect, that's what he deserves. This is so hard, you guys don't know how hard it is. Like I've been trying to film this video and like I can't even brass the words of what to say or anything. Um, I am doing another video that will be posted soon, finally opening up about what happened that night and telling my story and I think that's a big part of me healing and moving on is talking about it more. I'm not in therapy. I know I do need to go to therapy. I'm well aware that I need to go to therapy because I'm still hurting and I'm still grieving and I'm going to grieve forever. And I find myself very hard-headed that I'm like you know what I'll deal with it on my own like I'll just I make excuses I'm too busy I'm too this I'm too that when in reality my mental health is a big priority that I should be not brushing under the rug so that this doesn't mean I'm not gonna go I still go see him I'm still you know this doesn't mean I'm not going to remember him I still have his portraits in my closet I still have you know I think about it all the time so and I think it hurts even more now because when I look back it's like I groaned so much and he's not here to see it. Maybe not physically but I just wonder like I wonder if he's proud of me for continuing my life. I wonder if he's proud of me for accomplishing goals and Never giving up on myself or never giving up on our fur babies. I miss Princess a lot too, but I know he's up there with Princess and I know, you know, I have Ace, he has Princess. Ace was always like my dog, you know, Princess was always his. He wanted Princess, he got Princess. I wanted Ace, we got Ace. I miss him a lot. And I may not post or do a lot about it because, you know, I kind of just am in a state where I like keeping it private because, like I said, eventually I have to move on and this is me moving on and I'm letting it be known that I'm single and whatever I do, it's what I do. I have to lay in my own bed at night by myself, so it's my skeletons if I'm on social media doing this, saying this, being with this person, doing this. At the end of the day, it's my life. I appreciate people that are like, hey, you know, you're unhealed. You know, I know that. I am, you know, I know that. I just have been in a state where it's, it's all about taking accountability and I know I'm not okay and I know I need therapy and I'll eventually get it, you know on my own time on when I feel like it's ready. I think the first steps are always taking accountability and always realizing, hey, I am not healed and I am hurting other people because I'm looking for something in someone that is not going to be there. That person is not here anymore and I need to get over the fact that I'm not going to find that person in anyone and I owe Everyone that I'm looking for in it, that respect at least, like I can't sit there and try to find somebody who passed away in them because that's not. And Gabriel was my first boyfriend, he was everything to me and I love him so much and I will always love him. But out of respect, 
I had to move on and I had to let it be known that no matter how much I wish he was still here and how much, you know, I wish I spent my, my life with him. I know he spent the rest of his with me. We had beautiful, a beautiful six years and, you know, we, we both had plans, like, you know, to be together forever, to buy a house, to have kids. So, God, I really wanted to see him as a dad. He was so good with kids. Like, I think that's what I was mostly excited for, is to see him being a dad to like you know our children and stuff and i would never get to experience that with him maybe i'll experience it one day with somebody but i know it's not going to be with him and i'll forever 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 have a scar on my heart because i felt like my life and my life with him was robbed but there's nothing i could do about it i just have to continue to keep going and i have to move on and I hope you guys understand and respect my decisions. If you don't have nothing nice to say, you don't need to comment under my videos. I've gone through a lot already, so I just wanted to clear the air and let you guys know because, like I said, I have a lot of videos lined up that I have not posted yet because I'm like, you know what, I can't just throw all these videos out here because you guys are going to be like, wait, who are all these people? Who are all your new crushes who are, you know, so I get it. I'm not healed. I know. I take accountability, and that's all I could do right now. So I'll see you guys in my next.